What's up guys? It's been many months and many more nights of work on this motorcycle. I know it's been kind of transformation between bare frame to this point here, but it's done. And I wanted to take a little bit of time just to walk through where I've gotten, what I've done, how it worked out, and then after that, we'll go for a little ride and see how it does. The biggest priority I had for this build was clean lines and cohesive design. Everything has a reason, a decision, and a story. The first choice which set the theme for the rest of the bike was a pair of nice, chunky tires. This is a go anywhere, have fun bike without worries. Following the tires, it was important for me to maximize the clean lines of the frame by deleting anything unnecessary. I kept the filters minimized and the electronics out of sight. The kick-up seat is easily removed to gain access to the electronics box, which is carefully organized to fit everything needed to run the bike. I'm using a smaller lithium-ion battery and ran my own wiring harness from scratch. I wanted the absolute minimum controls on the bars, so the switches for turns and lights are integrated into a small plate I made for the triple tree. The tail light is also integrated into the frame and sits perfectly under the edge of the seat. The LEDs inside are minimal in footprint, but bright enough to safely illuminate at night. Speaking of light, the first thing most people notice on this bike is the pair of LED light bars I've gone with for headlights. This was another early choice, and I absolutely love the post-apocalyptic tone they set for the front end. Time to start it up. This thing is totally stone cold. Hasn't been ridden in probably about a week. So let's see how it starts up. Go ahead and turn the fuel on. Choke. The ignition. Just gonna give it a sec for the bowls to fill up. Okay. Here we go. 